We have acquired quite a few different high voltage transformers throughout the years. And I've been very, very impressed with their outputs. We already do have a uh, potential transformer right here. But I think we can do better than that. And this one thing that we're missing is waiting at the FedEx company. And I think we need to go pick it up. Because it's too heavy to be shipped home delivery. You guys know what I'm talking about. This thing weighs almost three times as much as I do. Yes, I think we need a transformer. Like one of these. Pull mount distribution transformer. Okay, just as a momentary test, we're going to be connecting it up. Um, with a Jacob's Ladder setup. I have tested this thing, it puts out a nice arc and I'll give you the specifications on it. 5 kVA, 14,400 volts to 24,940Y or 3 phase. 5 gallons of oil and weighs 280 pounds and an impedance of 1.36 I believe that is. But uh, yeah, it's my uh, distribution transformer. Uh, nothing really complicated. It's got a little grounding terminal, and up on the top we got two bushings. Um, they're about, oh, this guy, he's about almost a foot, I think. Uh, about eight inches, maybe we could say. Just as a guess. Um, had to clean it off a little bit. The thing was a little bit uh, dirty. However, it rained a little bit, so that helped, but we're going to give this a little test and see what this bad boy does. And uh, right now we have uh, connected on the, as primary, we're going to connect up um, 240 volts, which we have here, which goes to this plug, to the ballasts, and to the variac, of course. So let's, let's give this a little Let's give this a little test, not with the chicken stick, but just the Jacob's Ladder, because we all like Jacob's Ladders, don't we? So let's, let's see what kind of arc this puts out. Okay, now we got a slight Jacob's Ladder set up. Kind of crummy, but it works. It's about three, about a meter high, maybe about three feet, maybe three and a half feet. So now I'm just gonna go turn up the dial there. And let's see exactly what kind of arc we get. This is ballast at 3,000 watts. Well, first of all, we're going to start at low power, which is 0 to 500 watts. So let's see how that is. Almost all the way to the top there. Top, huh? All right. 
pretty cool. Unplug, safety first. Woo, that's pretty nice at three kilowatts, three or four kilowatts. And it's a pole pig and um, yeah, 14.4 kilovolts with a 240 volts input. Let's plug this thing back in. This time I'm doing arcing setup, chicken stick setup, and we're gonna try it at uh, 120 volts in and low power. This is low power. That's approximately 7.2 kV. Now if I whack this thing up to a 240 volts input into the 240 volt windings. And let's see what kind of arc we get. Now there is a bit of a corona. Really nice purpley color there. Well, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Just before the arc starts you'd be see a little bit of corona there. about 500 watts. Now we're going to turn it back down to... Okay, so now with 120 volts input, um, let's see what kind of uh, arc we get at uh, higher power. This is about a kilowatt and a half. Okay, so that's what 7 kilovolts, 7.2 kilovolts. And then we take it up to 240. So this is about 14,400 volts, 14,400. About 3 or 4 kilowatts. That's cool, you can kind of see the reflection in the window there. You see the arc. Wow. Nothing's complaining. And unplug for safety. Okay guys, now just to wrap up this video, I'll do some comparisons with the toys that we have been playing with on this channel, such as this uh, potential transformer. And it's still a pretty chunky transformer, but it still doesn't compare to the uh, big 5 kVA distribution transformer, which is nearly the identical size of the 25 kVA transformer that's uh, mounted on the pole in our backyard. So, uh, yep, this is this is the holy grail of high voltage right here. Um, as you can see, I have a cloth right there. It's because there's some information that's been written there and that uh, I don't want to expose the internet. But I know I've been going a little long on this video, and I promise I will make some other more interesting videos of this particular transformer later on, probably uh, tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, I, I have no idea when I'm going to upload stuff, but there will be stuff very soon, I promise you that, because I have been behind. But nothing, nothing compares to this beast besides other pull mount transformers. I mean, look at the size of this MOT compared to that. And this is a big MOT. I mean, this is a, this thing weighs, I don't know, 25 pounds or something like that. And this thing is, it's a pretty big mutt. And it doesn't overheat like your traditional knots, but this thing will not overheat because it's submerged in oil and it's much bigger, so we can push this thing to ridiculous levels. Um, still got to be careful with it, as it does have five gallons of mineral oil in it. Um, this is a dry type transformer. It's insulated with epoxy. Same with this transformer, but it's insulated extra. 
But, yep, this is just a little comparison video to, uh, or comparison clip to the stuff that we have been playing with. Yeah. I just can't get it on camera of how ridiculously huge this transformer is. It's a, it's a small pull mount transformer, too. It's, it's nothing... It's nothing big like a 25 or 100 kVA. This is just this is just a smaller type, but it's still 280 pounds of iron and copper. So I'm pre I'm pretty sure that this this guy can handle a little bit more power than uh, uh, 5 kVA. But yep, yep, that's this uh, lovely transformer and uh, more vids to come, guys. So. Don't want to drag this any further, and uh, well, I'll see you guys on the uh, next video. Cheers.